Hello everybody, it's your boy Paratonic and I'm back with another video. So, we have breaking news, people. Yes, on the 4th of July. And by the way, I want to say Happy Independence Day to everybody out there. We're celebrating 245 years of this great nation. Thank you to everybody that has signed the Declaration of Independence. And, you know, signed it at a place in Independence Hall in Philadelphia where history will always remain there. But anyway, I want to get to this update for y'all. So we have an update. It says Japanese Deputy Yasuha Nakayama warns United States of potential surprise attack on Hawaii. This is from Russia and China. So basically, we have a Japanese deputy warning the United States of potential Pearl Harbor like situation involving Russia and China. It says Nakayama warned the United States to beware of a Pearl Harbor style surprise attack. So, he's warning of us of a Pearl Harbor style attack. Remember, Japan is the one that bombed us on Pearl Harbor. December 7th, 1941. Who was president then? FDR. Who was the Japanese prime minister at the time? He did, he, Tojo, the Razor. The dude was tough. And remember all the kamikaze attacks? They used to fly their planes into our ships and kill ourselves and suicide bomb us. And, and man, they used to do some terrible things to us. So the Japanese are... It ex this explains Russia's drills off the coast of Hawaii. That's why Russia has probably been doing drills off the coast of Hawaii, people. Just in case they might attack us. And the first place they're going to attack is either Guam or Hawaii. Because you can't forget about the, the mainland, the islands. Guam is a United States territory. Just like Puerto Rico is. Wait, no. I think Puerto Rico is not yet a territory. But Guam and Hawaii are. So... Those are the first places that Russia and China will probably strike and hit before this all thing said is done. And in a time of war, China and Russia wouldn't give one crap about the economy, politics, or whatever. Their MO would be to destroy the United States and put them in their misery. So that's the whole deal of war. You want to take the other country out. You probably also want to be an imperialist and take over the country and be a conqueror like Alexander the Great or Napoleon or Joseph Stalin. Even though I don't think Stalin invaded and conquered another country. But he could be like a hit a person. Basically, Xi Jinping of China, the new president of China. or But the Chinese president, it keeps pausing. I don't know why, but this connection sucks here in my house. So... Basically, the imperialistic way of doing things would be like Xi Jinping. I'm giving you an example. How Xi Jinping wants to reunify Taiwan and talking about taking over Taiwan and possibly even Mongolia, possibly even a little bit of Nepal, Tibet, maybe, maybe Indonesia, maybe Australia. So I'm just keeping that, just keep that in mind, people. Just keep that in mind. But we have a big stark warning here. Japanese deputy is warning the United States of a Pearl Harbor style attack from Russia and China. This is a cold red right here. Because if Japanese, if the Jap Japanese come out of there, come out there and say it, then we know it's a big deal because they the ones that cause us, well, they, they the ones that cause us to get into World War II. 80 years, about to be 80 years ago. 1941, it's 2021. Eight, almost 80 years. So, yeah, this is a big deal. But anyway, make sure to like, like, subscribe, comment. It's your boy Pearl. I'm out.